M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the Radtel RT580, so triple screen, and this is the GPS model with Bluetooth, and the Bluetooth does work, and you do pay extra to have that, and they give you an adapter, and I did get a programming cable, so yeah, if you get all of the extras, I suppose it's better value. It's not a cheap device to buy, it's about £130, but it does have GPS and Bluetooth. So in this video, it's just to show you how to add a memory channel. So the way this radio works is you turn it on and you've got three displays and you can cycle through them just by pressing the red button. So they go blue as you cycle. And if you want to go into VFO mode, just hold down the red. You can tell when you're in channel mode because you get channel number just here. And if you hold down the red, we're still in channel mode. You get two channel mode types. You get one that shows the channel name, and, and then if you hold again, frequency mode. frequency mode is VFO, and it does say VFO. Press again, channel mode. back to channel mode, but it's showing the frequency. But if you channel wanna, mode. there you are. If you wanna add memory channels, frequency mode. you need to be in frequency mode, then you can type, you know, you can type different frequencies. So. Uh, let's do one, one four, four, five, seven, 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 seven five. five. Okay, so we've typed in the frequency. It automatically selects FM. Then we're going to press menu. menu. And we'll start from O1. See, I typed O1. It brings us up to the backlight. If you want the backlight to be on all the time, now's your chance. O1, press menu and go up and down and select menu again to select continuous and then you don't have to go back you can start going down the menu there's your squelch press the green i set it on number three press green again and we'll go past power say tx power press the green high or low we're going to test the power but we'll leave it on high for now keep going down now timeout is important because if you select that and it's set to like 60 seconds you're going to time out when you talk so just put it on to 210. Confirm. Okay. Wide or narrow, that's up to you. Confirm. Voice is the talking that we're hearing now. Now receive, you want that. I, I tend to put this to off. So receive tone is off. Okay, now if you want to change it to on, press star and then go up and down. So that's the key. Star cycles it through the different types of tones, but it also turns it off. Press green. Confirm. Now on transmit, we do need this. Press the green, then we hit the star. Then we're going to go up to 94.8 tone. Transmit. There you go, 94. Select. Confirm. That's done. Go past that and past scramble. We're not using Bluetooth now, but if you were going to, you literally just go menu and turn it on. Okay. Language, you've only got two choices there. Just confirm it. I think you can go back with the red button. No, that's the beep that you're hearing. Scan mode, that's, we're not doing that now. Step, if you want your step, that's there. That's menu 19. And the menus are numbered on the right hand side here. Offset, we're gonna need that. We need 0, 0.600 for that. So you literally just type it. No, not 600. If it was a 70 centimeter report, repeat, repeater, you'd probably type in 7.600. Okay, but that's that done. Confirm. SD, which is confusing. That's air band you're hearing there. It's quite weak, but uh, that's because we're inside. It does work. It's not the best, clearest audio, but it's definitely audible. So anyway, shift direction. So that's basically the plus or the minus. So with a two meter repeater, it's minus. With a 70 cents, quite often it's plus. We want minus. Confirm. So that stands for shift direction. Channel name you can't do when you're in VFO mode. So we'll go to, so forget name edit for now. Keep going past all that. GPS, this is where you turn it on or off. 
and eventually we'll get to oh tdr that's 32 that's twin receive but it only hears one at a time then here we are store channel and then we need to choose a channel so i've already put in a few so i'm going to put that on i'm going to put that on uh, on 10 i've used the software it works fine uh we'll put that on channel 15 okay store that's there it's confirmed we can exit out now and the red button is the back button the programming cable does go in the in the smaller pin it's a single pin here i'm going to try one of those all-in-one cables today just to see if it works and there's your you know just usual and it shows up as a prolific driver which installed automatically so now if we go to menu 15 so what we do we'll hold down the red and look, it's gone straight to 15 and it's there. I could, I've added a few memories. There are, look, there's the names. Now, if we go to 15. That's the one we just added. So we're in memory mode. So let's try and name that channel 15. So we'll go menu. We'll go up to where it said channel name. We will find it. There it is. Name edit. So channel name, press on. So that's on back. And we'll go down one. Name edit. So let's go name edit and we'll just call it Z. I was be here all day. You press the no name edit. You press the let's do another one again. Up and down to select letters, and you get capitals and all that. Oh, blimey. This is why it's so much easier with the software, isn't it? Right, there's a letter there. Let's do that. Another one. Yeah, I've tried with the keys, but that doesn't do anything. And then to save it, now this is the trick. Let's go... Push the green, confirm. confirm, exit. Yes, it has changed the name. So you can change the name using the, the keypad. It's a bit long-winded, but you can do it. So that's it. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Doing some tests on this. You've got a PTT here. Two function buttons. That doesn't do anything. Uh, big LED light. On, off, and volume. Chunky 3,800 milliamp hour battery with USB-C. Yeah, and it's a grey sort of case. And yeah, of course, it's unusual. The main, I would say, you know, the main thing that catches people's eyes with this is the fact that you can have three on the screen because that's unusual. The only other radio that does that is, I would say, the FT5, FT3. You hear that? That's Bristol Radar. And that's inside. So sensitivity-wise... It gets it, it's good, and it comes with two antennas, this radio. But that audio, that audio is distorted, which means it, they need to do something with the AM fix like they did with the Koshangs. It's not something not quite right about the firmware. I don't think that's proper AM myself. I've used other ones, and it's clear, yeah? Uh, but, you know, maybe I need to do more tests, so, to, you know, I'm not the final decider of AM on the... Radtel 580G. Thanks for watching my channel, 73.